Well, the defending NAIA champs certainly seem to be finding their stride tonight. The College of Idaho men's basketball team would put their 11-game winning streak on the line. You know, the College of Idaho Yotes always have some high expectations. They're always a great team, but it really does seem like they have found their new mm -hmm. rhythm, their new energy, and they're playing their best brand, brand of basketball as we head into an important second half stretch of the season. Yeah. Let's head to the highlights. The Yotes hosting 24th ranked Oregon Tech. Yeah, that kicks off a stretch where they played the top three next best teams in the Cascade Conference. How about the spark plug tonight? Junior Drew Wyman. Some great passing across the floor. He gets it top of the key, connects on the first of many three-pointers he would have on the game. Wyman erupted for a game leading 23 points, connecting on a career best seven of eight three-pointers. Four of them coming in the first five minutes of play, way back on that one, at nearly NBA range, converts on the heat check. Oregon Tech having to call a timeout after that hot start. Now, Johnny Radford also had a great night shooting the rock. He added 14 for the Oats, 3 of 7 from three-point range. As a team, Sivine nearly shot 48% from the field, combining for 16 threes. They started to run away with it. Samaj Morgan with a nice feed inside to Jake O'Neal. Fruitland native rising up to put it away. The Oats got out of the first half with a 17-point lead. Pretty comfortable throughout. One of my favorite plays we saw yeah, tonight. Paul. So, Paul Wilson going to work down low, gets tripped up, throws it up. Hey, he's still able to knock that one down. One of those nights for the Oats. Seemed like everything was going their way. They stormed ahead to an 83-59 to win. Of course, they got a big one lined up for tomorrow night. Hosting Southern Oregon, it's the only team from the Cascade Conference who has beaten the Yotes yeah. in the last two seasons. So, chance for a little bit of payback holding on to their uh, lead in the conference standings as well. That's going to tip off tomorrow night at 5 p.m.